How's the lighting? What's up everybody? I am prepping to get ready to do a section hike of the PCT. And I thought I would show you guys what I bring to eat. So what I do is lay out how many days I'll be on the trail, um, how many full days, but then also half days and account for that. Um, sometimes when you're on the PCT, there are places you can stop like gas stations. Um, in this specific section, there is a McDonald's. I won't be eating there, but there's also a gas station. So I'm gonna check it out and maybe account for a couple snacks being there. But generally, if you're just going off in the wilderness, there's not gonna be places like that. So you wanna make sure that you're bringing enough calories to sustain you for the whole trip. Um, but also something that I noticed is really figuring out what you have a taste for. I've brought a lot of food in the past and ended up just carrying it out because I really wanted something salty or sweet and instead I just brought stuff that I was not interested in. So um, getting a little experience with that can be helpful, especially at higher elevations, I noticed I just didn't have any type of appetite. So kind of thinking that through before you go and finding foods that are just easy to eat even if you don't really have much of an appetite. So when you go to lay out your days, um, I lay each day out so that I can see it and really make a good plan. So I'm going to give you an example of one day um, and how I lay it out. And then I make sure to try to make my the weight of my food about one pound or a pound and a half max. Um, for this type of trip, I'm going for seven days. So as you can tell, that kind of adds up quickly. So I am gluten-free and vegan, so I really make sure to bring hearty foods um, that are gonna be sustaining me. So for breakfast, I tend to wanna wake up, pack up, and hit the trail. This is really a personal preference. Other people like to wake up, warm their food up, and have a nice hot meal. So for most of my meals for breakfast, I'm bringing Pro Bars. I really like the chocolate and peanut butter ones. Even though it's just a bar, there's like 300 calories in these. Um, and so it's pretty filling to at least get you going. I like to eat breakfast like as I'm prepping or right when I hit the trail, um, just so I can get going. Even though a hot meal would be nice, the more I sit still, the colder I feel. Um, so I am bringing that for most of my breakfast, but I'm going to also bring two, basically like superfood or oatmeals in these little cups. You don't really need to keep it in this cup because I have a pot, but in order to just reduce another thing of garbage, I'm going to bring these. They're pretty light. This one's only 1 1.4 ounces. This is a cauliflower hot cereal, um, but it's sweetened. So hopefully that's, that's pretty good. I've never had that before. And um, a superfood oats gluten-free so I'm gonna bring two of those just in case those really extra cold mornings or afternoons when I'm wanting some lunch maybe I'll stop and eat one of those I also bring just a tiny bit of granola to put on top of the the oatmeals so most breakfasts will be the bars but then I'm bringing a couple of those as an option I also noticed that you kind of get sick of eating the same thing every day so I wanted a little bit of variety um, I don't cook my lunches. I don't think many people do because you're just out on the trail. You want to get going and keep going. And so instead, I bring a couple different types of snacks. One I always bring is a cutie just because I want to try to get more nutrients in my diet when I'm out there. I know this is not very filling and it doesn't get crushed too badly in your pack and it stays good for quite a while. So I bring a cutie each day. This is something easy you can peel and eat while you walk as well. I also love the Pro, it's by Pro Bar, but they're the um, Bolt Energy Chews. I tend to not really have much of an appetite during the day, especially when it's hot out or when I'm expending a lot of energy. And so these have um, B vitamins in them and electrolytes. So I really like to just snack on these as I'm out on the trail. I bring a cutie and one of those for every single day. Um, on this day in particular, I'm bringing a bag of chips. These will probably get smashed to smithereens, but they'll be delicious anyway. Some salty, crunchy taste. I won't bring these for every single day, but that will be one of my snack options. A couple other days, I'll have um, a little bit of trail mix. So this is one day's worth, just maybe two ounces of trail mix. 
trail mix is pretty filling because of the nuts and the dried fruit. Um, two other snacks that I found that I really liked um, are these gluten-free um, coconut and cashew balls. So I'm actually gonna bring quite a few of those. They're full of protein, but also some healthy fats and some carbohydrates, and they taste pretty darn good. So I'm gonna bring those, and my other new addition are these power snacks. These ones are cacao and goji berry. They are packed full of superfoods, and so since I have to eat a lot of prepackaged foods while I'm out there, I try to get some other vitamins and nutrients other ways. So I'm gonna bring a baggie of those for maybe a day or two. Then I already dehydrated all my dinners. Check out my video on how to dehydrate. Um, I usually shoot for about six ounces um, for dinner, depending, this one's six and a half. I have a couple lighter and a couple heavier ones. The days that I'm really hungry, I'll eat the bigger ones. This one is a mac and cheese, um, gluten-free and vegan, but I also have some other um, chickpea noodle pastas with vegetables dehydrated in there. I put a lot of spinach and zucchini. Um, I did a lentil soup with some mushrooms and spinach and rice. So something really filling at night. Usually after a long day of hiking, you want something pretty hearty to help you sleep and something warm to just warm you up. I really try to keep the weight down as much as I can, but my go-to for luxury is always to bring some chocolate. So I do bring a couple vegan chocolate bars and these are for just at the end of the night or during the day if I really don't want anything. They're sweetened with coconut sugar so I do like that a little bit more natural. I also bring um, another mix of trail mix. My dog ate the other bag so I'm gonna have to fill that up again. And then I do also bring these peanut butter packets. These are nice to just eat right out of the packet. If you aren't gluten-free or you find a good, good gluten-free wrap, you can do um, some peanut butter on the wrap and that's pretty good too. So what I do is take a whole day's worth of snacks and I throw it on my scale just to kind of see where I'm at. Some of this I might not eat all in one day, but this is maybe a more heavy day, so this will give me a really good idea of where I'm at and I'm at 1.4, 1.5 pounds. So every day won't be that way, but this will just give me an idea of where I'll be at. Um, staying under a pound and a half would be great, especially for a long trip where you have to carry all your food. The other thing I bring is electrolytes for like one packet for each day, especially if it's gonna be hot, I might bring two, but this one's going to be a bit colder. And then I also bring mushroom elixir. It's cordyceps mushrooms, which help with oxygenation of the blood. Um, I really like these when I'm in higher elevations to help me breathe easier, get my muscles working. But I also just like the warm brothy taste if you're gonna just drink something besides coffee. Sometimes I also bring bars, um, like the gluten-free bar that I just purchased. This is a peanut butter one. I love Lara bars, so I bring those quite often. They're just dates and nuts, um, but they are quite filling. If I'm going to higher elevation where I know I'm not gonna have any appetite and I'm gonna be, I'm going to tend to be more dehydrated, I'll bring some of the like go-go squeezes. This one is pumpkin tree. Peter Rabbit Organics. And this is just um, blended up baby food basically, but fruits and vegetables. I, don't, I won't be bringing it on this trip because these are pretty heavy for the amount of calories you get. This is four ounces. And so for only um, 35 calories, it's really not worth it. But if you're going on a short trip and you know you'll want something like that, I do like to carry these with me too. What I would recommend is going on a short weekend trip and really getting an idea of what you like to eat and what things you just did not have interest in. And then also paying attention to how much garbage you accumulate, how many bags you can reuse instead of creating more garbage. Because ultimately whatever you bring in, you have to bring out with you. Generally how I store my food is is put it in these gigantic Ziploc bags. They're leak proof and scent proof. 
Um, even if you're not in bear country, little critters, whatever, I put it all in here. And then if you're in an area that you need to use a bear bag or bear canister, then you can put it inside there if you'd like. But in my backpack, I just carry it right inside this giant Ziploc.